next party. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The roll call. Council Member Caldwell Wagner. Excused. Groves. Here. Fitzpatrick. Here. Patrick. Randall. Here. Walker. Here. Mayor Cramplett. Here. Additions or amendments to the agenda. Under uh, 5A, we'd like to put, put pre A and have Olga Kaganova from the Port of Cascade Locks as a subject to talk to you about. Okay. Adoption of the consent agenda, which is the approval of June 10th, 2019. City Council minutes, ratification of the Gorge Hub's notice to proceed. <clears throat> uh, approve OLCC permit for Rogue Brewery for September 14th, 2019. Approve OLCC permits for Thunder Island Brewery on, 2000, or on July 20th, August 11th, 16th, and 17th, 2019. Ratification of the bills to the amount of $125,833.54. I move that we adopt that consent agenda. Second. Moved and second to adopt the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Over, you're up. Oh. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. I uh, think Paul had come out and talked to you a little bit about the picnic uh, that we did on the first. I wanted to come out and give you a little more detail as it's coming together and uh, uh, see if uh, you have any direction for what you'd like to see as well. So um, we are asking the market to come down to Marine Park for that day. So they'll start setting up at 10 and run through their normal hours, maybe until 3 o'clock or so. At 12, we're hoping to serve uh, Hot, hot dogs or hamburgers or some level of picnic-like foods. We're working on a on a food permit on a food license and uh, working on putting all that together. So some of that may change. We'll probably do um, some dessert as well. As um, people are starting to get their foods, we would like some elected uh, folks to speak. So mayor, uh, uh, maybe somebody from the council, maybe somebody from the part, uh, commission definitely. Uh, President and uh, anybody else that you think would be of value to the community to hear from. Uh, overall, during the the picnic, I'd like to see the city and the port and uh, museum, maybe the Columbia area transportation, uh, have some flyers and some information about the events and the uh, general responsibilities that all these entities have. At 12.45, we will have a puppet show. And at 1.30, we have a jazz band playing. If you need specifics on what kind of puppet show and a jazz band, I'll send those out in an email. And uh, we're hoping to wrap up by 3 o'clock, but perhaps the community wants to stay and visit each other longer. We're not going to ask them to take part. So that's the, uh, in a nutshell, really quick version of the events as they're going to be happening on the 21st. Uh, with the puppet show and the jazz band, uh, the food, we we are planning on an expense of about twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars, and uh, the port would be happy to cover a portion of that. And we would like to welcome the city council to to also uh, sponsor that. Uh, I don't know what the budget is like, but we would like to welcome uh, you to split the cost with us uh, at fifty percent. Whatever you decide to do will be really good as well. <coughs> any questions for me? Do you have any questions there, Bruce? Uh, no, I do not, Your Honor. Thank you. Is there anything that you would like to see during this event that I did not uh, talk about? I think I'm good. 
Is there any chance we could get the new fire captain, even though it's before he officially comes? No, he'll be here. He'll be here. Yeah, this is July. July 21st. Oh, first. yeah. I'd like to see him. Well, we'll invite him. Invite him, for sure. Yeah. To meet and greet with the community? Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> I don't know if it would be appropriate or not, but what about um, the River Sheriff's Department? Was it any later on? Not, not, not to be there to work, but to be there just to, yes, to, be, you know, to be friends of citizens, talk to citizens directly. Okay. Do I need a, do I need to ask for a vote on the expense or do I need to? Do you have any direction? So where would we, um, where would we have money? I'll just, I'll just take it out of your salaries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I don't know. Um, You're not going to get any money. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, we, we'll have to take a look, but I'm sure we can find seven hundred up to seven hundred fifty five. Right. Are we good with that? Yeah. Yep. yep. You good with that, Bruce? Seven hundred. Yeah. Helping. Okay. Since that's within my limit, I don't need a vote. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And if you do come up with questions between now and the event, let me know if, or any ideas of anything else that we need to incorporate. Right. So you're committed to speaking? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm committed to speak. Okay. What What day of the week? And it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Oh, geez, Sunday, Sunday afternoon? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yeah, I'll, I can speak at 12. Okay. But I gotta be at work at one. But well, you're not that far Cause away. Because Mike takes off. You can be in your in your yep. cat suit. Yep. Yep. I can speak. Old yeah. man. So of the put, put me up there right off the bat. Love it. <laughs> and, and give him a time. And, and have my hammer ready. Have my hammer ready too. Well, he already has a time. Well, I have a good my hand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm Thank there. You. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Okay, there's no public hearing. We have all the appointments to committees. <coughs> committees. Uh, we have that. Okay, approve audit proposal for marine income. Every year, the auditor gives us a letter that says this is what they're going to do, and it's for you to review. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to try and answer them. As you know, they've done a great job for us in the last four years. This just outlines their responsibilities and what our responsibilities are. So is there something you want from the... No, you just have to review the letter. Review the letter. It, it, it has to show in the minutes that you had found the letter and you... You reviewed it. Okay. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Are you good with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, approved letter of support for build grant. Um, Olga probably should have stayed for this. Um, the point is putting together what's the, what's the federal infrastructure build grant for transportation projects. You can see, see the projects that are listed there. Uh, Force Lane, Cramlet Load Intersection, um, that's out by the industrial park, and they're looking to uh, improve that whole structure, maybe do a little traffic pattern change so the trucks can come in off the overpass and into the industrial park um, a little easier. And they're talking about improving the Forest Road, the For French Road and Forest Lane Road, that's on the south side of the freeway where Forest Lane turns into Frontage Road because there's not enough turning radius for the trucks. If we're sending the trucks down Frontage Road, they've got to be able to turn to come back down to the industrial park. Uh, and if you go further back on Frontage Road where Forest Lane comes in and the way station comes in from the, the right, that if you're sending trucks through the way station, turning right down Frontage Road across Forest Lane intersection and out in Cramblet Way to get to the industrial park, that's our proposed truck route, they can't make that turn. Yeah. 
uh, and so we have to improve that intersection. That's the, the third one. And the fourth one is the Toll House Road uh, Wanapah intersection, uh, where we're looking to do, the port's looking to do a bunch of improvements to improve the breeze by. That's a brand name quote. Um, but the options are either a uh, traffic light or a roundabout. Um, the traffic engineers at this point are saying that the round the, the traffic light would um, do more to resolve their problems where the the eastbound uh, exit ramp off the freeway comes up and goes on to the bridge, and that that has the potential to back up and back up onto the freeway during the summer when we have the high traffic areas. Um, what it doesn't do, the traffic light doesn't do, is address the uh, westbound on Wampaw to head into Portland at, when that traffic light, it'll stop and let, you'll have a left turn lane for three lights, which will, which will still back up Wampaw through town. So that all being said, uh, it's $12 million and they have added escalation clause in there to make it $13 million, $12.8 million. Uh, this is 100% financed by the federal government. There's no match. Um, ODOT is um, excited about this because it's going to uh, do a lot of the, the first three items. Actually, all four of the items are on our transportation system plan that we put together in 2001 and hasn't changed. So it's, it's an excellent opportunity, but they would like a letter of uh, support from the council. And I put together a second <coughs> one uh, and I took a little liberty, and I can always take it out. Um, when they looked at a roundabout in Hood River on the Cascade Avenue, they had some kickback from the historic uh, nature of the, the highway. Um, and so they, they <clears throat> I don't know if they've massaged the numbers or if it, it's, it's true, but, but I believe that the roundabout at Full House Road and uh, Wampaw could actually facilitate greater traffic movement and keeping the traffic moving than a traffic control. Engineers tell me different. Um, but I do it, I, I would do it for a, a cone, not only for the traffic control, but for the traffic calming. You've been up there the, trying to get out of the Best Western when the traffic has come wheezing off the freeway and they're still doing 40 or 50 miles an hour. 30 mile an hour zone, the, the traffic roundabout would require them to slow down. Plus, it gives us an opportunity to put a signature welcome to Cascade Locks piece right there in front of them. Uh, but again, it's up to you uh, uh, and, and the port and ODOT uh, determining what you want to do. I didn't have that paragraph in there. I might be happy to take that paragraph out have the mayor, mayor sign a revised letter. They, the traffic light actually costs a million dollars more than roundabout costs. So they, they're going to put both proposals together for the build, and then as the engineering studies are completed, they'll determine which one they're going to do. But I personally would encourage you to do a, a statement piece in a roundabout. Again, this. It's going to be up to the engineers. Well, and the paragraph is just to take in consideration. Yeah. Is all I'm saying. Anyway, so yeah. we're not saying do it or we don't want the money type thing. Right. We're just asked to take consideration. Because our historic highway, our limit is it's 55 feet curb to curb. Uh, there's no acquisition required for the roundabout because the, the ODOT already owns it, owns that property. They own halfway into the parking lot at the Best Western. One of the issues is that the Best of Western is going to lose one of their entrances. They have three. Um, they could do 